We're targeting to get to around a 900,000 number by 2018-19. That's from a production standpoint. How many we'll sell, we don't know. We're not forecasting that. But production-wise, um, this plant that you see right here, this is Aurigadam, phase one we call it, because this one was set up for around 250, 300,000 units per year. There's an adjoining paint shop that side. We've commissioned, not commi yeah, we've commissioned and it's uh, and, and it's running phase two. So that's also producing motorcycles. So combine this factory along with Tiruvatur, when it's all fully up to steam, so phase two is still coming up, will give us in the order of 650, 700,000 motorcycles. And then we have Vallam Vadagal coming up, which is our that, yeah. third plant, and phase one of that will give us another 300,000. So that's. That takes us to around 900,000 in 2018. FY19. FY19. 1819, oh. yeah. So FY19, yeah. And in terms of new launches, a lot of bike enthusiasts have asked me when the next 750cc <laughs> is coming out because of the spy, spy fix, as you know, that have been doing the rounds. Uh, can we hope to see something soon? Um, we have a lot of new motorcycles under development. Uh, many, many, many interesting things. Like? Um, that's the problem. We don't know which all are going to actually hit the road. So even in the past, I mean, what you're seeing here is one Himalayan, right? And one Continental GT a couple of years ago. But behind that was many other motorcycles as well, which we killed because we didn't like them for some reason or the other, <clears throat> or they didn't meet our requirements. So, I mean, there's a fat pipeline and then there's a model that you're going to see. So you are going to see a lot of new and fun and interesting models, but I just can't tell you when and where and how. Coming to your margins, 30% margins now, record highs for oil and steel. Do you think things could get better? Well, honestly, when we were at 20%, we thought we, you know, we were there and we'd done it all. And, um, and uh, so, th therefore, yes, it could get better, but are we, is it our objective to get to 35%? I don't think that's our objective anymore. Now our objective is actually to spend more and okay. be well. Uh, more than that, it's, our objective is to actually create, right? So we've, we're doing the earning and we're getting damn good at earning. And obviously at the one level, we continue to look at how to improve that earning, right? So you have potential on the top line, on the gross margins, on the costs. All of that is, is work that we're already, I believe, really good at. And we're not going to let go of an opportunity there. But the important thing is, are we really the important thing that we focus on is to actually build the future for Royal Enfield. So to be able to actually make sure that we get all the actions in place. So there's been an enormous focus on actually moving things forward. So we've been, the last couple of years, it's been a transformation in Royal Enfield. We're, yeah. we're recruiting uh, people from around the world. We're recruiting people that wouldn't consider joining a company like I showed a Royal Enfield five, seven years ago. And you now have hired from Harley, from Triumph, from all these big companies, from right? Across the board. Let me ask you about competition because uh, your competitor, Bajaj Auto, has Rajiv Bajaj. And yes. I understand that the two of you share a gay, great rapport. He told me that the one thing he learned from you is that less is more and focus on one thing and do it right. But I want to understand how do you guys manage to be such good friends despite being competitive in this industry? Yeah, because I think, um, firstly, just to give you an example, when we were, you know, we used to be in a, or let's say our mother plant is a small plant which was made in the 50s up in North Chennai, and it's very different in nature to this plant. And um, when we were thinking about this plant, it was something we couldn't even consider. So yeah. actually me and my uh, chief operations officer, Govind Rajan, couple of us, we went to Chakan and we, and Rajiv let us have a look around so that we could fathom what, you know, a modern motorcycle plant could look like. So yeah, I mean, he's helped us tremendously even getting here and, and I think we have the, we have the same world view. I mean, we don't look at competition as, uh, you know, <laughs> firstly, we don't make, firstly, we don't make motorcycles that, that have anything to do with each other.